Mexico, like countries around the world, and Mexico City, like cities around the world, is dominated by cars, and cars are taking up all the public space. And it's the status quo. It's what we know and what we believe. And so for this city and cities everywhere, we really need to figure out how to balance our choices. We need to give people more choices. So can I walk, can I take a bike, an electric bike, an electric scooter, go in a shared vehicle, a metro bus, or by car? And we need to make it more equal. And so right now, I think that cars um, don't pay what they should be paying, and they're getting way more of the space than they should be getting. So in this city, like every other one, we need to make more efficient use of our streets. We need, so people driving by themselves in the car is not an efficient use of the space. And so Mexico City's done some beautiful things with the bus rapid transit getting its own lane and picking out some bike lanes, but we need to dramatically increase the space allocated for bike lanes, and I, I now call them micro-mobility, since we have many more things than bicycles going in them. We need to make a network where it's very safe and secure to use those lanes, and people will use them when it's safe. And uh, we, so I, we need to reduce the lanes for, for cars and expand the lanes for efficient use of space. Efficiently moving people needs to get more space. Technology is what makes sharing of assets of any kind viable. If we didn't have technology, I couldn't go find any trip or anything. I couldn't pay for it electronically, and I couldn't share a trip in real time. So I want to say GPS, wireless data, and electronic payment is something that should be ubiquitous for at every level of the society in all geographies. Is 5G the answer? I think, I think that 5G is a marketing desire to overcome what is happening today. So today I'm using Wi-Fi sometimes, I'm using Bluetooth sometimes, I'm using cellular sometimes, and 5G is the telecommunications company saying, we want all of that in our space. And so, uh, and they want cities to pay for it because it will require lots of repeaters and lots of infrastructure that they don't want to pay for to make happen. So I um, believe we should have networks that are multi-spectrum and that we should have devices that are multi-spectrum, but I don't believe that 5G as it is described today is the path to that.